Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In recent years, in order to hinder China's technological progress, the United States has continued to expand its restrictions on the semiconductor industry. Not only has it unilaterally restricted the export of advanced semiconductor equipment, but it has also joined forces with allies such as Japan and the Netherlands to impose a comprehensive ban on the sale of high-end chips to China. This harsh restriction, especially for companies related to mainland China, has become part of the United States' implementation of technological competition. Interestingly, the United States not only restricts foreign companies that use its technology, but also its own companies. Take NVIDIA as an example. The company has suffered a lot of setbacks in this series of restrictions. What is even more unexpected is that there have been recent reports that the United States may further increase restrictions. Facts over the years have shown that these Western restrictions have not really hindered China's technological progress, but have promoted China's technological breakthroughs. I am afraid that the United States has also deeply experienced this, especially the chip restrictions implemented in recent years, which have not achieved the expected results at all. For example, the chip ban imposed on Huawei has enabled Huawei to achieve independent production of Kirin chips in just three years, which obviously exceeded the expectations of the United States. Although the United States has gradually realized that restrictions cannot really stop China's progress in the chip field, it continues to increase these restrictions. Their idea is to delay China's development at all costs, even at the expense of the interests of American companies. The American company NVIDIA feels this deeply, especially in the field of AI chips, where the United States has expanded shipment restrictions many times. We know that the rapid development of global artificial intelligence in recent years has brought unprecedented opportunities to NVIDIA, which focuses on GPU chips. NVIDIA's AI chips are far ahead in the global market, so they are favored by many technology giants. The company's revenue and profits have risen sharply, and its market value has also risen rapidly, competing with the world's top companies such as Microsoft and Apple. Obviously, the emergence of this phenomenon is closely related to the joint support of the global market, especially the Chinese mainland, the world's largest chip market. For a long time, NVIDIA's revenue from the Chinese mainland market has accounted for about 20% to 25% of its total revenue, which shows the importance of the mainland market to NVIDIA. Therefore, NVIDIA has attached great importance to the layout of the mainland market in recent years and has continued to expand its investment and development in this market. However, unexpectedly, the continuous expansion of restrictions by the US government may make NVIDIA's efforts over the years come to naught. The importance of the artificial intelligence industry in the future development of science and technology is becoming increasingly apparent, so the US government has begun to put the goal of hindering the development of China's artificial intelligence on the agenda, especially for high-end AI chips, and has imposed direct export restrictions on companies such as NVIDIA and AMD. Although AMD and Intel also have advanced AI chip products, their market share is relatively small, and compared with NVIDIA's huge market share, the gap is significant. NVIDIA's market share accounts for about 90% of the world, so it naturally became the focus of the US government. The US government issued a restriction notice prohibiting NVIDIA from shipping advanced AI chips A100H100 to Chinese companies. In order to continue to ship, NVIDIA was forced to adjust its products and launched A800 and H800. But not long after, 
the United States imposed a new round of shipment restrictions on it. After that, NVIDIA made another product modification and launched the H20 chip with even weaker performance, still unwilling to give up the opportunity in the Chinese mainland market. It can be seen how strong NVIDIA's persistence is. In order to consolidate its position in the mainland market, NVIDIA CEO Huang Renxuan even personally went to China, which he had not visited for many years. Last year, he specially wore a flowery jacket and danced the Yanga, showing his attention to the mainland market. However, things did not go as NVIDIA wished. Recently, the Taiwan Media Economic Daily reported that the United States is considering further expanding the scope of restrictions on AI chips. Sources revealed that NVIDIA will no longer be able to ship H20 chips to Chinese companies. There are also reports that NVIDIA has begun to reject H20 chip orders from Chinese corporate customers and will no longer accept related orders in the future. Of course, this is not because NVIDIA is unwilling to ship to Chinese companies. You know, even if the computing power of the H20 chip is only 15% of that of the H100, its price is still high, and there are still many Chinese companies scrambling to place orders. NVIDIA will naturally be happy to accept this huge profit. However, it may be because the demand for H20 in the Chinese mainland market is too strong, which makes the United States feel uneasy. So it intends to increase the intensity of restrictions again. It is reported that NVIDIA is lobbying the US government to try to prevent the further expansion of this restriction, but the US attitude does not seem optimistic. The reason why NVIDIA is so anxious is that the AI chip technology in mainland China is also advancing rapidly. For example, Huawei's Ascend AI chip has begun to show its potential. The continuous expansion of the US restrictions on NVIDIA's AI chips has instead freed up market space for Chinese companies. With this change, more and more companies have begun to purchase domestic AI chips. As a result, Huawei's Ascend AI chip sales have soared, and even the production capacity has not kept up. From this point of view, what the People's Daily said is not groundless. The breakthrough of core technology can only rely on its own strength in the end. Only by insisting on self-research and development can the problem of dependence on external technology be solved. Therefore, Chinese companies have not only begun to purchase Huawei's AI chips, but many companies have also actively carried out self-developed AI chips to meet future market challenges.